Hi, my name is Dina Goldberg and I'm a board certified genetic counselor and I create content to make genetics more accessible. And today I'm joined by Katie Sagasar. Hey everyone. Katie is a licensed and board certified genetic counselor who specializes in reproductive health. Yep, I'm part of the team at Juno Diagnostics where we're on a mission to make prenatal testing more accessible for everyone. Now for many years, testing pregnancies for chromosome anomalies was only available through chorionic villus sampling or amniocentesis, both invasive procedures with a small risk for miscarriage. So if someone wanted to get that information, they may opt not to do one of these invasive procedures. In contrast, blood screening tests for Down syndrome and trisomy 18 have been around since the 90s. Even though these screens are non-invasive, they have high false positive rates and they don't pick up all cases. But then in 2011, along came an amazing technology called cell-free DNA testing, or non-invasive prenatal screening, NIPS, which completely changed the practice of prenatal screening. Because NIPS looks directly at DNA, it's a more reliable test for chromosome conditions than tests that look at proteins and hormones. And fun fact, Juno's founders were part of the team that created the first commercial non-invasive prenatal screen with Sequinome's Maternity 21. So we know a thing or two about how this is done. Well, you guys definitely know your NIPS. So I would love to hear how you explain it to patients. Yeah, of course. Non-invasive prenatal screening is a blood test that gives pregnant people specific information about their pregnancy. Most NIPS will screen for chromosome conditions like Down syndrome, where there's three copies of a chromosome instead of the two copies that we typically see. During your pregnancy, your bloodstream has a mixture of DNA from your cells as well as DNA from your pregnancy. When we do an IPS, we analyze this DNA mixture and look to see if the amount of DNA is in line with what we typically expect to see. If NIPS reveals extra DNA, like if there's more chromosome 21 than what we typically see, this will be flagged as a high risk result. You mentioned chromosome 21, but what other chromosomes are tested? With Juno's Hazel NIPS, they'll always be screening for trisomy 21, trisomy 18, and trisomy 13. And there's the option to include fetal sex by looking at the Y chromosome. If you wanna have screening for sex chromosome conditions, we can include this as well. Speaking of X's and Y's, I've heard some patients refer to this as the gender test. I'm glad you brought that up. NIPS does so much more than just looking at sex chromosomes. NIPS is designed to be a medical screening test and its purpose is to check a pregnancy for chromosome conditions. But what about if you're someone who just wants to learn the sex of the baby and nothing else? Oh, that's totally fine. With Juno, we offer a fetal sex test called Birch that can tell you the sex of the baby as early as seven weeks. All right, so let's say you do the Juno Hazel test and it comes back as high risk. What are the next steps? Yeah, so if you have a high risk result from NIPS, it means it's time to consider diagnostic testing because NIPS is a screen, not a diagnostic test. Diagnostic testing can confirm if a pregnancy has a chromosome condition. But what if you're someone who may feel like knowing this information won't change any decisions about the pregnancy? Prenatal genetic counselors get asked this question a lot. There's a common misperception that NIPS is only useful for somebody who might consider having an abortion, and that's just not true. NIPS and the information you get from it can be very, very useful for everyone. Things like what OB doctor should you see, how many ultrasounds are recommended, if specialist referrals are needed, and where you should deliver, all this can be impacted by NIPS results. So information about NIPS can actually influence a lot of medical decisions as you're preparing for the baby's arrival. Exactly. We should be having the NIPS test. I remember when it first came out, it was only for high risk pregnancies, right? Yeah, that's true, but a lot has changed since then. And since anybody at any age can have a pregnancy with a chromosome variation, if this is information you wanna have in your pregnancy, you should be able to have access to it. Both ACOG and ACMG say that NIPS should be an option for all pregnant people. So at this point, there are many NIPS tests on the market. So what makes Juno different? So there are three things that make Juno different and demonstrate our commitment to accessible prenatal screening. Number one, easy blood collection. Number two, affordable testing. And number three, on-demand access to information from board-certified genetic counselors. With Juno's sample collection device, patients can collect their blood sample at home with a quick finger prick and just a little bit of blood. Well, as someone that's undergoing IVF, 
I hate sitting in my car in LA traffic for an hour or two just for a five minute blood draw appointment. Seriously. And with Juno's customer care offering personalized support during a one-on-one -on -one sample collection Zoom call, you can have some peace of mind that you're doing the collection right too. Oh, that is different. Yeah, and since our sample collection device only needs a little bit of blood in order to produce blood plasma on the spot, our CLIA laboratory can operate super efficiently, meaning we can offer low pricing for NIPS. Well, that is not the norm in healthcare, so that's awesome. Yeah, with Juno, you're not going to get a surprise bill months down the road. Those are the worst. They are the worst and not part of the Juno experience. But what is part of the Juno experience is access to educational genetic counseling videos for every patient, both before and after you get your test results. You can also schedule a video appointment with one of our genetic counselors if you want to review your results with an expert. So if you are a person who's newly pregnant, how early can you get this test and how can you access it? Yeah, Juno's Hazel NIPS is available as early as nine weeks gestation. You can ask your OB provider to order it for you just by having them sign up for a Juno account. If you're nine weeks and waiting to be seen by your OB provider, but don't wanna wait on your screening, you can request the Hazel NIPS at junodx.com. We set you up with everything you need to make an informed choice about screening. As a genetic counselor with a special interest in making genetic testing more accessible, I believe that at-home tests are the future. And Juno is a great option for NIPS testing from the comfort of your home. To learn more, visit junodx.com. Thanks for coming up to LA. Anytime. Thanks for sitting at that traffic. I said I hate it. <laughs>